in the previous tutorial, we learned how to activate a battle and how to just make a troop and stuff and have enemies attack your players. But in this tutorial, we're going to be looking through one of the most important aspects of the battle, which is the stats of the player, the enemy, and the skills. So let's get straight into it. Let's once again go into our database. And we're going to go to the classes tab this time by going right here. Now, if you haven't been able to tell already, the classes are going to be like what's equipped to each actor that gives them their growth rate for their all their stats, their experience rates, and a whole bunch of other traits, skills, and even weapons. And so, let's go through each stat and learn the functionality of each one. Most of them are self-explanatory though. Max HP, which is going to be of course the maximum amount of hit points you have. Max MP, which is of course going to be the maximum amount of mana points you have. Attack, which will be for offensive moves. Defense, which is going to be for defending attacking moves. Magic attack for magic attacking moves. Magic defense for defending against magic attack moves. Agility for whoever's going to go first. And luck for determining critical hits, evasion, and all that other crazy stuff. And so, that's the about like eight stats we have. Now let's go into our actually terms right here. And here's where we can actually manipulate what the stats are called in your game. So right here we have level, HP, MP, TP, HP, MP, TP, maximum HP, maximum MP attack, magic attack, you get the point. We even have, we even have hit and evasion, which are also going to be referred to as your hit rate and evasion rate, which we'll get into in a future video. But for now, I want to focus on all of these stats and how they interact with each other in the battle. So to start off, we have our actors, and these are the growth rates. So in here, you can set a growth rate for our hero class. So the maximum MP, if we hit like A, just make it so it grows faster, higher. If we hit E, that means it's going to be lower growth, which means at the highest level, it's still going to be pretty low. At the lowest level, it's going to be pretty low. We can generate a curve, and this makes so we can set so level 1 has something like 1. Level 99 has, say, a value of 6,000. And this is going to create a curve that starts at 1 and goes to 6,000. We can also make it so it has a faster growth or slower growth. So slow growth would be like this, which would mean like it'll take a while to get it building up. On the other hand, if we made a fast growth, it'd like start up getting really, really high. Then over time, it slowly stop building as much. And so it's up to you whichever type of thing you want to use for your classes. You have to customize it for each and every class. So for example, if you have a hero class, you might want to build up attack or defense or keep it all balanced. For a mage, you definitely want to have much higher magical attack because you want to have it so like this person's a mage. They have lots of magical attack. Priest, same thing. You might want magical attack, maybe a lot of luck right here. So because the priest is going to have tons of luck. And it's up to you how you manipulate your classes. Once you have all of your classes manipulated for the stats wise, you can go to the actors. You can go to the class little thing right here. Click on it and choose your class that they're going to start with. You can change your class for actors later, but you don't worry about that for now. Instead, let's just continue onward. Next, let's look at the enemies. Now, if you can remember, our troops are made out of all these enemies that we created. So let's try creating another enemy. Let's set the maximum to five. Let's go right here. Let's give it a name called enemy because I have no idea what we're going to create. Let's go into the images by double clicking. And RPG Maker MV gives you a whole ton of different default images you can use. Let's select the mimic for now. We'll hit OK. And now we can manipulate the stats once again. And as you can tell, it's still going to be the same thing. Maximum HP, MP, attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense, agility, and luck. And you can manipulate all these stats to make it so this enemy has these stats. And now, the way the game is going to work is that you're going to have your enemy stats, you're going to have your actor stats right here, and they're going to interact together using the skills. And now what the skills are going to do, they're going to do damage based off the stats of both the attacking actor or enemy against the other actor or enemy. So, what I want to focus on right now is the damage box right here. All this other stuff, it's pretty crazy, but for the time being, let's focus on the damage box. As you can see, it says A.attack times 4 minus B.defense times 2. So what's happening is A is going to represent the attacker and B is going to represent the person who's taking the attack. So if we have an actor attacking an enemy, this would be the actor's attack multiplied by 4 minus the defender's defense, which would be the enemy that's being attacked times 2. And this will result in a number, and that number is what's going to be used for when the enemy is damaged by the attack. And so this is how the attack and defense and magic attack and magic defense all work. They're pretty much all customized through this little damage box right here. You can make whatever you like. Now on the other hand, HP, MP, speed, and luck, I mean agility and luck, those are all defined in the pretty much code of the entire game. So if you want to make them have some special function, that's going to take a little bit more work. But for the time being, just focus on the main four attacking and defending stats. 
So, as you can probably guess, this right here is the attack skill, which is what's going to be used by default when you use the attack command in the thing, as it says right here. Same thing applies to the guard, which is going to be a little different. We also have the dual attack, heal, fire, spark, and all this stuff. So, another example would be heal, because it's set to HP recover, as opposed to HP damage. And so this is just going to take the user's magic attack, add a 200 to it, and that's going to be the amount of HP that is recovered by whoever this healing move is used against. So now, go through all of your classes and set up all the stats for each actor, depending on what type of actor they want to be in battle. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, please give a like, please be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Until next time, RPG Maker Tutorial End.